Yes, Terry Morrow was one of my favorite people in the world. We had, we started out, like when Dollywood started, he was always there when he worked at the Mountain Press. He was always here. I would always find time for him. He was always so great about helping us promote the park in his early, early stages. He was always good about doing everything. Even when he got his bigger position, he was always good to me and I was always good to him. And I would always say, well, we can't do Dollywood without you, Terry. You know, it's like I would never not, you know, no matter how much press we had, they would say, even before we got to be all that important, they'd say, well, we've, you know, we've, you know, we're done for the day. We can't do anymore. And if I knew Terry hadn't got his thing in, I would always say, we got to have Terry. Let Terry in here. I don't care if he has to come to the bus with me. And he often did. He'd come on the bus, you know, and do the interview. So I loved him. I, it broke my heart. You know, when he passed, I literally cried when they, actually I was working with my family over on the My People Show. We were here working and Mary Lida came over and I was working, uh, you know, with my family. And I got this note and it said, Terry passed away. And I just, like I'm about to do now, I just, I just got real emotional because it just hit me really hard. Because he, he fought so hard. He was just so wanted to be here, you know, for our opening. So. Anyway, to him, to all the people that loved him, and to his parents, I just want to say he was a jewel, a true, true jewel. I know, I know we're all about to cry over Terry. <laughs> but that's how I felt when Mary Lotta brought because I was like, I was right in the middle of something else, and I went, oh no, and I was like somebody, and everybody, my family thought something had happened to somebody in the family, and I said, well, it might as well have been, he felt like family to me.